this story in the line of the Quintess SEM apps about eLogistics collaboration. The story starts in the discrete manufacturing company, which is, by coincidence, the supplier of the buying company, which we have seen in previous movies. Also here, everybody is working, many disciplines are working together, manufacturing and logistics and finance are all working on the trade shift platform, which also contains many other functionality like financials, human resources, customers, all working on the trade shift platform. But let's concentrate on logistics this time. The logistics material handler, his job is to um, dispatch all the materials from his environment to the buying companies. So his task is to generate shipments and communicate their info to the customers for all order lines which are due in that period. So he logs in to the trade shift platform and operates from that moment on the platform with the eLogistics app. By opening and selecting uh, the app, he sees all the current shipments that have been dispatched already and his job is to create a new shipment from his own company, of course, so the pickup address is to be entered. Um, of course, he selects the destination for the shipment, great products in this situation, and he can select any of the carriers or non-carry at all, if that's not applicable. That's, in fact, enough to save the header of this shipment, which is done, shipment is done, shipment is available, and the automatically selected content shows that there are four different order lines with item content waiting to be shipped. He checks if everything is okay, the ordered quantity is indeed available, so he can use the pre-populated information on the shipped quantity to select what he's going to ship. Uh, system also dictates what kind of packaging type is required, and because the system also knows how many of the items are in a box, the system can also pre-populate the number of packaging items in the boxes. Means that we are sending a content of four different items, but they are packed in six different boxes, as we can see, automatically generated in the next screen. The packaging has each and every, for each and every different box, has gone his own um, pack ID, and we also know that certain of those pack IDs, certain of those handling units, need to be packed together on a pallet. Also available in the system possibility to select the pallet type and also define a unique ID for the pallet. Because we want to know not only the unique ID of the box, but also the unique ID of the pallet. Um, the pallets and the boxes could be the same, of course, but uh, pallet and boxes are many times uh, stacked on or top of each other. So even for um, the um, information required for the carrier, it's very nice to be able to see where or which level in the pallet the boxes are packed. That's all the information that we need to add to the pack and stack option. So all information ready now in the shipment to be announced to the supply to the buyer by adding this uh, by uh, uh, pressing the uh, announce button, the order is announced and everything, the shipment is announced and everything is ready for the next step, which is handling the documents. The eLogix apps gives you the possibility to automatically generate pallet labels, which are of course to be printed from the system and applied by the supplier on the different boxes. And they those labels contain all the information required, both in readable and in scannable information used at goods receiving at a later moment. Also, the handling units, the boxes, are printed from here, having the same information, also now specifying what kind of items there are in the boxes, so that at goods receiving at the buyer location, it's very easy to process all those boxes. All this information, including the information which is visible on the manifest, which is, in fact, the shipment uh, document itself, 
is available in electronic format in the ASN message which is generated by the system and sent automatically to the buyer so that after announcement um, he knows exactly what, inf what data he's going to uh, uh, receive, what material he's going to receive and how to process that in his inbound checking processes. So what we have here now is the announced shipment with all the information required at the system available for further processing at the buyer's side. When opening or when refreshing the screen, we can also see for the status of the shipment that the status is announced and we have a full audit trail of each and every step as a starter of the process here to see what happened at the supplier side at the shipment. The ASN is generated and sent to the buying organization to prep the goods receiving process. We assume that the supplier applies the printed labels on the pallet in the boxes and sends everything to the buyer where the buyer checks the goods receipt process and everything is done and ready for a next part of the process.